Good morning vlog! We just fed the cats and we are about to eat lunch so let me show you guys what we have for lunch today. Oh my god, I just opened the freezer and you can see all our creamy stuff. We're gonna try that stuff today. But usually we would eat salmon for lunch but we forgot to defrost it last night. So we're gonna try this bonza pizza made from chickpeas that they sent us a while ago. And we're gonna try it for the first time. Ooh, ooh, supreme with beyond meat. Ooh, we got cheese. Ooh, two pizza crusts. Yeah. I guess you can like talk yeah, it with why, stuff. Yeah. yeah. You can have a pizza night. Wow, look at that, it's pretty. Yeah. Crust made from chickpeas. Nice. <laughs> All right, our oven is preheated to 400. And then we just slide this on. They say to slide it on without the cardboard. Just put it straight on the rack. So we're doing the cheese and the supreme. Yay. Let's do like 13 minutes. It says 12 to 15. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the heat. Oh my God, it smells so good. I did 13 minutes. Looks good. Ooh, look at that. That's the cheese. That's the supreme. Look at it. Let's eat. And we're watching Magic Journeys. <laughs> okay, we're trying the cheese first. Oh. Hmm. Very great that it's ch chickpeas. Mm. I feel like you can taste it though. You can taste the chickpeas? I feel like you can. I can't taste it. I like it. I just think I can taste it. I can't taste it. It's really hot but it has like a little crisp on the bottom. If I wanted it to be crispier, probably leave it in the oven longer. Mm. Oh, I can kind of taste it now, the chickpea, but not in a bad way. Like, I don't think it disrupts the flavor. Yeah, I think it's not bad. I mean, like it has so much more protein than like normal pizza, you know? Mm. Healthy. Mm. Now for the Supreme. Mmm, mmm. This one has like a garlic flavor to it, which I don't mind because I love garlic. Both not bad. Yeah, both good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> We have Jessica here and I want her to try these and let me know what she thinks because basically Bird really likes them and I really don't like them. This is the little guy. Yeah, the little guy. <laughs> so I want you to be a tiebreaker. Small test. It's like a little bun. <laughs> Bee, she doesn't, doesn't look like she likes them. Do you think it's bad? I don't think it's bad. I think that it's an interesting... It's so Dude, it has a chalky aftertaste. Do it's you get like that chalk. Now? Yeah, literally. The flavor is fun. Is it like rice? I don't know. It's like... It's interesting. It's hella chalky. Like, I literally ate one last night because Bird was eating it while we were watching TV. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, let me let me try it. And I was like, oh, it's gross. <laughs> it's because it like, it starts to taste like a cracker and then it dissolves. Yeah, it's, it disappears. Oh gosh, I hate the chalky aftertaste too. I've had four of them now, but. And what do you think? This is strange. I don't know what it wants to be. But are you on the more positive or the more not positive I side? I wouldn't choose them. <laughs> Bird, she doesn't like them. <laughs> Yum. More for you, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's Ollie eating his food. <laughs> He's like, more snack. Bird, don't give it to him. Oh my gosh. Hello, Ollie. Hello. Hi, honey. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, now it's creamy time and Bird insists that we try the jasmine milk tea one first. It looks so interesting, actually. It became a lot more yellow. Yeah, look at that. Let's put this in. And then we whoop. And should we do ice cream then? Sure. All right, ice cream. <laughs> Whoa! Look how crumbly. Yeah, so we can add like water or milk. But I also think you could just not add yeah, anything. Yeah, I don't think you need to add anything. Okay, well, let's do a respin. Whoop! Respin! Oh, it's still crumbly! Gotta do it again, I guess. It's still crumbly. Maybe I should add some milk. Yeah. Jessica just reminded me that I saved some of the milk tea from yesterday for this exact purpose. 
So let's add some. Yay! Whoop. Respin. Okay, hopefully this time it's not crumbly. Ooh, it's getting there. Oh gosh. A bit icy, huh? Yeah, it's still a little icy. I wonder, I guess I should put more of the liquid. liquid. Last spin. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I mean, it's like... Pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It definitely still looks... Like, maybe next time we need to add some, like, more, like, kind of... Milk or something. Like a heavy cream or something. Yeah. But it's not bad. I mean, literally just jasmine milk tea turned into this so yeah. should we just try it i don't oh, know if it's gonna get it. much better than this cheers hmm. i thought i would like it more actually well it's like the texture's not right i think we need to adjust the recipe because this is like literally i just took jasmine milk tea and poured it in here but i think if we adjust it add like some more heavy cream then i think it'll be better i actually like the fruit stuff more really mm -hmm. is it just because it's not creamy that this one i just think the flavor tastes better really yeah but this one tastes like jasmine milk tea yeah, yeah. anyways i must go to my meeting it's so interesting because i feel like this is not as creamy as like the fruit ones but this one actually yeah, has dairy cool. yeah i'm very shocked Hmm. But I think with some tweaks, it could be good. Yeah, it seems icier. Yeah, this one's icier than the fruit ones, which is so weird. It definitely tastes like what it is, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely get that strong jasmine flavor. I think it's not bad. I think Bird's just a critic. He hyped it up in his head, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Still good. I still eat it. Yeah, we still are. <laughs> so we're not gonna finish this one, but I heard, um, I read or saw online, if you don't finish it, just flatten the top and then you can just put it back into the freezer and then run it again and then it'll be like the same. Next, we're gonna try the watermelon one. This is the one that we did that was blended. It's like soft crumbles. Respin. Let's see. Oh, still crumbly. I actually have some extra watermelon juice from yesterday, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit. And then we're gonna do it again. All right, let's see if that helped. Ooh, definitely it helped. It's way less crumbly. Ooh. It's like a watermelon sorbet, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does look like one. I wish it was creamier though. This one looks more like a sorbet, whereas the peach and the pineapple looked more like like a Dole Whip. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like watermelon. No. <laughs> Literally, just like watermelon sorbet. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. I like how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I feel like it did a good job. Mm -hmm. I wish it was sweeter though. I guess if I, in the blended mixture, if I just added more sugar or something. Mm -hmm. But I guess also it just depends on how ripe your watermelon is. What do you think? I think it's good. Do you like this one or the peach one better? Mm, the peach one. Oh yeah? If we could get this to be creamy, I think I would like it more. Because mm -hmm. the peach and the pineapple had like a creamy texture kind of. Yeah. It was more like Dole Whip. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one's like actually like sorbet because it has, it's like kind of icy-ish. I think the pineapple one's my favorite so far, but we're gonna keep testing. This one is really refreshing though. You guys, I was just eating my watermelon sorbet and then I turned around and look what I saw. <laughs> Jessica's balancing a pineapple on her head. How are you doing that? I think it's my ponytail. Oh, that makes sense. It's supporting. <laughs> just a normal day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay! Wait, show everyone your cool nails. <laughs> wow. Now they're blue. And now they're purple. And now they're blue. And now they're purple. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Okay, we already started making our drink, but I'm gonna show you guys how we film it at the window, like assembling it. So here we have the drink that we were making yesterday with coconut milk and watermelon. So let's film. <laughs> trying with another cup because I'm not 100% happy with how the last one turned out. So we're gonna see if this cup helps. Here's 
our finished drink. I'm not 100% happy with how it turned out because yesterday when we tried it, it was just so much prettier. We tried to like adjust the watermelon to coconut ratio. Yesterday there was too much coconut, not enough watermelon. So today we tried to put more watermelon, but I think in doing so it made it look not as pretty. But anyway, it tastes better than it did yesterday. So I guess that's what matters. Oh, so refreshing. Mm. It's good. If you like watermelon and coconut, definitely try it. Now we have to clean up and I think we were gonna try to film another one today, but I don't know if we can. I don't know if we have enough time before the sun leaves the windowsill. So we'll see. If anything, at least I think we can test it and then we'll have the recipe for next time. But yeah, mm. Mm. so refreshing. I gave some to Bird. Let's see what he thinks. Watermelon. <laughs> yes, and there's two flavors. Coconut? Yeah. Good job, bird. <laughs> Do you like it? Refreshing. It's super refreshing. Yum yum. Okay, you guys, we just respun the jasmine milk tea from earlier. Also, sorry, we have Lomi running in the background, so sorry if you hear that background noise. But we wanted the jasmine milk tea ice cream to be creamier, so what we did was we put some heavy whipping cream in a cup, and then we added a scoop of sugar, and then we dissolved it, mix, 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 dissolve it, and then we ran the jasmine milk tea again on the ice cream setting, and then it was all crumbly, kind of like how it was before. Then before we respun it, we added that heavy cream and sugar mixture and did the respin cycle. And this is what it looks like now. And it's so much creamier now. It's so much creamier. Like before it was kind of just like jasmine milk tea ice. This is actually more like ice cream. And before it was lacking some sweetness. So that's why we added the sugar. And it's like a good level of sweetness now. So we fixed it. Yay. <laughs> mm, look at that texture. Ice cream, ice cream. The creamy has done it again. All right, we're testing the second drink of the day. So this is ube milk. All we did was add milk, ube extract, and condensed milk. And then here we blended up coconut milk, ice, pineapple juice, and lime juice. So we're kind of doing a similar type thing to the other drink. Mountain of coconut, pineapple, ice, <laughs> slush. <Lime. laughs> and then let's pour. Whoa. Pretty. Whoa, it's very interesting. Well, I think it's not sweet enough, first of all. Uh. So yeah, it needs more sugar. And then the ube with the pineapple is very interesting. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know if I like it. Maybe we need to leave the pineapple out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just do, and just do some coconut, coconut ube. ube. Which is basically gonna be the same as what we did with the watermelon, but with ube. Could it be the lime or is it the pineapple? Definitely. I don't even know. Here, you, you try. Too you much try. lime. <laughs> you try. <laughs> what do we think? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good and then I don't think. Don't think it's good anymore? It almost tastes like the inside of a Bath and Body Works. I'm like eating a candle. <laughs> Do you think it's a lime or the pineapple? I can't tell. I can't differentiate them. Yeah, me neither. I think it would taste good if we just literally did what we did with the watermelon, but then with the ube. Mm -hmm. You know, like we didn't need the lime and the pineapple in it. But I thought that the ube would work with the pineapple because pineapple and coconut work together and ube and coconut taste similar, you know? Mm -hmm. That was my logic with it, but maybe it doesn't work. But yeah, I think we gotta do coconut, condensed milk, ice, and then the ube milk that we made, and that'd be good. I think the pineapple and the lime was not necessary. It kind of messed it up. Yeah, we're not mixologists. <laughs> <laughs> but it was at least we learned, you know. Yeah. Little Tony making biscuits with her tongue sticking out. I've never met a cat who sticks out her tongue so much before. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her little biscuits. You can hear her purring too. Oh, cute girl, so cute. Okay, we have more Lego brick heads that we're gonna build, and this is the Star Wars one. And we are gonna watch 
episode six. Bird is very happy. <laughs> I think the last time I watched this movie, we actually went to Davy Symphony Hall in SF and they do this thing. I don't know if they still do it, but they did it like, this was like, what, six years ago? Yeah. yeah, something like that. And they play the movie on the screen, like they project it, and then they have the symphony playing the music live. So it's super cool, actually. That was fun, right? <laughs> that was one of the only times I w ever watched Star Wars. <laughs> How about if I do Luke and the Ewok? Okay. Or something. And then I do the rest, or what? And then you do the rest. Okay, sure. All right, let's see who finishes first. Ready, set, go. <laughs> we haven't even opened the box yet. <laughs> Good morning vlog! I just went outside the door and Tony came to greet me and I wanted to show you guys this thing that she does every morning. It's like a little button on her where if you scratch at like her butt, <laughs> she will lick you. And then look, if I stop, she stops. And if I start again, she starts again. <laughs> it's so funny. And her tongue really hurts because it's scratchy, so it feels like sandpaper. <laughs> but I let her do it because she's so cute. And look how her tail's all curled. Ouch, honey. That hurts. That hurts, honey. That hurts. That's okay. Mommy loves you. Oh, my sweet girl. Oh my gosh, look at all this fur. <laughs> okay, let's go eat. Let's go eat, honey. Babies are eating. They are so cute. But once Tony's done, I have to go run to lunch with my family. So hopefully she finishes soon because I'm already late. <laughs> Hello, mom. <laughs> I have your Mother's Day gift here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's sticking out of the bag, sorry. <laughs> oh. It's a digital picture frame. Oh. So we can send me, you know, you can get your pictures of your grandkitties and your grandkids uh, to it and it will display on the oh, picture nice, frame. Nice, yes. Nice. Very good. Thank yes. you, thank you. Yes. And then, yeah, this one you requested specifically. <laughs> you guys, she's been, she's been bothering me nonstop to get her more. For half a year. <laughs> Since Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I said, sorry mom, I forgot your mother's a gift and I was referring to this and she said, yeah, my Zindru. So then, <laughs> so then I had to go order some. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The best. Yeah. Yesterday, I rinsed this, the jar that I had. Uh huh. I used the, the rinse water. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well, so, good. You have a whole new jar. Oh, thank you. I'm <laughs> right about time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back home now and I'm about to make our daily smoothie. Usually I try to make it in the morning, but this morning I had a lot of meetings and then I had to head off to lunch so I didn't have time. So I'm making it now. First off, I put a bunch of spinach at the bottom and then I add a banana. This one's a little green for my liking, but it's all we got. <laughs> so sometimes I use two bananas, sometimes I use one. It really just depends on what we have. If I need to use two, then I'll use two. If we have like a lot of extras, then I'll use two. I feel like today is a two banana day, so. So yeah, I just add that in there. And then I add my athletic greens. This smoothie is for both me and Bird, so I do two scoops of athletic greens because we're supposed to have one scoop each. Then I have my frozen mangoes. These I got from Safeway just to hold me over till my next Costco trip. But then at Costco, they didn't have mangoes this week. So anyway, we add our frozen mangoes. I add a lot. As you can see, we pretty much are full to the top. I kind of try to smush it down. And then I have my Greek yogurt. So I add about two like big spoonfuls of it. 
good. And then I fill it pretty high with water. Yeah, I fill it to like about here with water or maybe even more. And then we blend. And then we just divide it into two cups. And then of course we're using our Feed Mei Mei straws. And one for me and one for Bird. Bird, I have your smoothie. Thank you. What is it? It's, it's a smoothie you drink every day. Is it good today? And we drink this pretty much every day. I think per week we maybe miss one day, but the other six days we drink this. And usually in the morning. Yeah. Usually it's, we drink it with lunch or we drink it as the first thing we drink in the morning or eat in the morning. I don't know, do you eat a smoothie or drink a smoothie? I guess you drink a smoothie. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I just put that matcha mixture into the creamy. It was literally just matcha powder, condensed milk, and milk. And I froze it and then I put it in the creamy. It was looking a little crumbly. So what I did, cause I learned from yesterday's Jasmine milk tea one is to put heavy cream and sugar. But I actually just had some whipped cream in the fridge in one of those spray cans. So I just sprayed some of the whipped cream in here and then I respun it. And now we have matcha ice cream. It's actually pretty decent. It's a little tiny bit icy, but not too bad at all. And I like this actually because you can control how much matcha you want to put in it. So this is actually quite strong. Mm. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm having so much fun with this creamy. We're trying so many different flavors and we will continue to do so all summer long. Also, literally none of this is sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Although if they do want to sponsor me, I would be happily sponsored by them because I freaking love this product. <laughs> So now I am getting some work done. I'm working on a vlog. It's actually a Warriors game vlog, which we ended up going to two Warriors games. And we got to try a bunch of the Chase Center food. Well, more like I was determined to try a bunch of the Chase Center food. I definitely wanted to try as much places as I could in Chase Center because they have a lot of different like cuisines. Like they have Filipino food, barbecue. They have like this really good pastrami sandwich, etc., etc. So I just wanted to try as much Chase Center food as possible. So I'm working on that. Oh, and then I wanted to mention that the place we went to for lunch my mom picked it out and it's like relatively new i think they said that they opened two months ago and it's kind of like a hong kong street food kind of restaurant i believe it's actually from hong kong and so we ordered a bunch of like jok or like porridge kanji and then we also ordered some rice rolls or rice noodle rolls like trung fun as well as some other popular hong kong street foods like curry fish balls i also really loved their like fried lobako they cut it up into cubes and like it was so perfectly crispy it was so good and yeah although i didn't really eat the joke because my sister and my mom were saying that it has hella gurung which means ginger and you guys know i hate ginger and i could literally see many many strips of ginger in there so there was no way i was gonna eat that <laughs> but yeah i did enjoy the rice noodle rolls and also they had some desserts so we got their milk pudding and their black sesame soup also known as zima wu and that was like not my favorite my sister and my mom really liked it but it was a little too bitter for me and not sweet enough but i did like the milk pudding and my mom did say that the zimawu was like pretty authentic so maybe my personal preference is like a sweeter version so yeah i still would recommend trying it especially because my mom's from hong kong and if she says it's pretty authentic then it must be pretty authentic all right that's it for this vlog if you made it this far comment below tony's tongue is sandpaper <laughs> Because every time I was watching that when I was editing or anytime I replay that clip, it literally just makes me laugh. And I hope it made you guys laugh too. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!